What's up, YouTube? This is Zach, and I am back with an, yet another video. Uh, this one is over um, some recent um, purchases that came in the mail today, and I just kind of wanted to give a first impression before I do a full review. Um, today's review is over Latafa's Amir Al Oud Intense Oud and Latafa's Ana Abiyad Rouge. Stay tuned. So I know I said a mouthful on that one, <laughs> but of course, these are your Middle Eastern fragrances. And, you know, of course, they have these Arabic titles, uh, the Amir Al Oud. OK, Intensu, that's one that actually not this is not the one that I was looking for. I was looking for the one that's just Amir Al Oud. And uh, the seller replied to me and said that uh, he only has Amir Al Oud Intense. Oud. And I didn't even know about this one, but uh, I was like, oh, well, he said it's better. So better than the original. So, you know, I said, hey, what the heck? I'll try it. You know, so I guess this is a uh, what do you call it? A flanker to the original Amir Al Oud, uh, which I really couldn't find. You know, that was one that was really popular that I was looking for last year. And so he said this one is better. So I was like, OK, let me try it out. And then the one next to it is Ana Abiyat Rouge, which is an interesting name because in Arabic, Ana Abiyat means I am white. And Rouge is red in French. So you got a fragrance called I am white red. Yeah, pause. Okay. So this one on the left, Amir Al Oud. Let me go into what this smells like. Uh, sprayed them on, on each hand. That's how I kind of do, you know, when I first get something just to, tr you know, check out the scent profile. This Amir Al Oud, Intense Oud, man, 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 man. It smells as though it would go really well with like some kind of uh, a moage uh, line. So it's oudy. It's it, it, it's it, it's very smoky um, and, and not firewood smoky, but it's just it's a it's a smoky oud. Um, and it has a slight sweetness, but it's not too sweet. And it has some masculinity about it, but it, man, I, 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 I don't know. It's, it's hard. Every time I get these in, man, it's kind of hard for me to pick what's my favorite because I like all of them. And you know, this one smells so good. I just started frowning. I was like, wow. Um, so it's called again, it's Latafa house of Latafa, Amir Al Oud, intense Oud. So I don't know what the regular Amir Al Oud smells like. I may not even get that one now because this one, I guess it, it's just too good for me to even worry about that. Uh, now the one next to it, uh, Ana Abiyad Rouge obviously is, you know, I guess they're not hiding it in the name. It's a, uh, it's supposedly a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, now again, I, you know, I do have uh Baccarat Rouge uh, 540. This does have that scent. However, let me tell you the differences. I watched a video on another reviewer. Um, I can't remember his name right now, uh, but he it, it made a lot of sense. He said, you know, some people don't like Baccarat Rouge 540. They say it has a medicinal tone to it that's off-putting to some people. And I, I get that. I know what he's talking about because uh, Baccarat Rouge is really like, a, it's a strong fra fragrance, but it's a subtle fragrance. Uh, and it has long, a long lasting, uh, uh, scent trail and just, it just lasts all day long. Well, it's, it's, it's really hard to duplicate that. Now this does have that same scent profile cause it has all the same notes that, uh, Baccarat Rouge has. And I don't want to go over those, but you, you know, anybody that knows, knows what those are, uh, has that same scent profile. But the thing that, uh, uh, I noticed was that it is more subtle uh, than uh, Baccarat Rouge. It's kind of more laid back. It has the same scent, but it's just more laid back. So it's almost like Baccarat Rouge light. And the fragrance that, the other fragrance that I have that it immediately reminded me of was Mancera's Amber Fever. So if you own Mancera's Amber Fever or you want a scent that is very similar, this would be perfect, man. Like I, <clears throat> if you own it, 
and you can buy this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This totally reminds me of uh, Mancera's um, Amber Fever. But as far as, you know, how close is it to Baccarat Rouge? It's not, to me, of course, it's not a direct clone. I think they did a good job, though, on the scent profile. I mean, right off the bat, you would, you know, if someone didn't know, I mean, if there is someone that's not into perfume and, you know, they know the scent of Baccarat Rouge, if they smell this on an elevator, they assume that someone is wearing Baccarat Rouge. But my nose is a little bit more advanced and large, so... I can tell you that I, I can tell you if something's like, you know, spot on and it's not. This is not a 100 uh, percent Baccarat Rouge clone and specifically because of the strength. It doesn't have the power uh, that Baccarat Rouge has. However, it smells great. It smells wonderful. It's still intoxicating uh, like BR540. It still has it's alluring. It's sexy. All of the above. It's just it just doesn't have the power of. Uh, Baccarat Rouge. Now, this would be a good fragrance if you don't want to spend Baccarat Rouge money and you want that same scent profile. But it 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 it, it copies that uh, really good. Uh, but it's just lighter, you know. And uh, the I think the fragrance that I reviewed a little bit earlier, which was uh, uh, Latafa's Oud for Glory, um, that one also has a slight Baccarat Rouge tone to it however this costs less this is a 60 mil bottle by the way it's not a hundred so you just do the math on the you know ounces and see if you're willing to pay that amount but uh this one is uh it's affordable all you know neither one of these is is over uh definitely not over fifty dollars so you check the seller I'll, I'll put the link to the seller in the uh in the description but amir al oud man like that one you know they both stand out to me don't get me wrong but I know I'm going to be wearing a lot of Amir Al Oud Intense Oud. Uh, that one really smells good to me. And behind it, I don't know if you guys can see it. Now, you see the presentation here. I really don't get into the presentation of boxes. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> behind these two, guess what I got? I got another Ragba Wood Intense. You know, this has to be <clears throat> probably, excuse me, it probably has to be me and my wife's favorite fragrance right now because we are going through that bottle. And we had to get another one because we did hear that it is discontinued, which is kind of sad to hear. But, um, oh, well, we, I have another bottle. So hopefully we'll this will last us a while. Um, so it's that good. I have I have a backup <laughs> of Rogba uh, uh, in, Wood Intense. So th that'll tell you how good that is. Now, um, which one should you buy? It just depends on on, on what you're looking for, you know. I think the Ana Abiyad Rouge would be a good fragrance for someone interested in Baccarat Rouge or a female that I, I notice a lot of females are interested in this fragrance uh, for some reason. So I guess maybe um, I guess maybe they don't have, uh, you know, they don't have um, a Baccarat Rouge or they just want, you know, just want a dupe. Uh, but it's a good dupe to buy. I mean, again, it's not 100 percent. It just doesn't have the power and punch. But it's a good dupe as far as a scent profile. So let's just be clear on that. I'm not saying that it doesn't smell like it. It actually does. It's just not as strong. Um, Amir Al Oud, that's touch and go. It, it would have to be a female that likes uh, fragrance that, fragrances that have a little bit more umph to them. But a guy would definitely go for this. If you a guy and you like Oud, you, you definitely like Amir Al Oud. Um, but again, you have to be into the Middle Eastern type fragrances. And, I, you know, that's a little kick that I'm on because these these frags are fantastic. I mean, the scent on these for the money is just just out of this world. Um, so I'll be giving you guys a new uh, video on these individually after I give them some wearings and I'll give you some more feedback on, you know, performance and things of that nature. But I just want to give you guys a quick video on what I just got in the mail today. I actually had some stuff come even before this. I just hadn't had time to, you know, do videos on them. But I'm going to come back around to them because I have a lot of these Middle Eastern fragrance that fragrances uh, that came in. So, all right, Signature Scent Review signing off. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, just want to, again, I just want to bring you guys what I got in the mail today. So, uh, see you guys on the next video. Uh, thanks a lot and peace.